Number 99. A bag contains five red marbles, seven yellow marbles, eight blue marbles, and ten green marbles. What is the probability of selecting a red or a green marble? Well, let's begin by organizing the information that we have with all the different colored marbles. So we have five red marbles, seven yellow marbles, eight blue marbles, 10 green marbles. Now let's get the total. Five plus seven is 12. 12 plus eight is 20. 20 plus 10 is 30. Now what is the probability of selecting a red marble? This is gonna be the number of red marbles divided by the total number of marbles in the bag. So it's five out of 30. The probability of selecting a green marble is going to be the 10 green marbles out of the 30 that are in the bag. So what about the probability of selecting a red marble or, keyword or, a green marble? This is simply the sum of the probability of selecting a red marble and a green marble. So this is going to be 5 over 30 plus 10 over 30, which is 15 over 30. 30, we can write that as 15 times 2. So canceling the 15, the probability of getting a red or a green marble is 1 half. So D is the right answer. Number 100. A jar contains 7 nickels, 8 dimes, and 10 quarters. What is the probability of selecting a quarter on the first try, and then a dime on the second try without replacement. So once again, let's list out the information that we have. Nickels, dimes, and quarters. So we have seven nickels, eight dimes, 10 quarters, and the total, seven plus eight is 15, 15 plus 10 is 25. So we have a total of 25 coins in this jar. So here we're looking at two events. Let's focus on the first event. What is the probability of selecting a quarter on the first try? The probability of selecting a quarter is going to be the 10 quarters divided by the total number of coins in the jar, which is 25. Now let's focus on the second event. What's the probability of selecting a dime on the second try? And notice the expression without replacement. So this means that in the first try, once we take out that quarter, we're not going to put it back in. So now in the second try, there's nine quarters, which means that there's a total of 24 coins. So we have eight dimes out of 24 coins. So we just got to multiply uh, these two probability values to get the answer. But let's simplify. 10 is 5 times 2. 25 is 5 times 5. 8 is 8 times 1. 24 is 8 times 3. So we can cancel a 5 and we can cancel an 8. So we have 2 times 1, which is 2, and then 5 times 3 is 15. So the probability that these two events will occur is equal to 2 out of 15. So answer choice A is the right answer. Questions 101 to 103 refer to the table shown below, which lists the courses taken by 10th grade students in a certain high school by gender. So here's the question. If a student is chosen at random, what is the probability that the student will be a male? So what do you think the answer is for this one? So the total number of students attending this school that are in 10th grade is 110. That's the complete total. Now, out of the 110 students, how many of them are males? The total number of males is 54 in this grade. So it's gonna be 54 out of 110. 54 is two times 27. 110 is two times 55. So this is as far as we can simplify. It's gonna be 27 
over 55, which means E is the right answer. Number 102. If a student is chosen at random, what is the probability that the student will be a female given that she has taken geometry? So this is basically a conditional probability type question. We're looking for the probability that the student selected is a female given she's taken geometry. So first, we need to find out how many students in total is taking geometry. So there's a total of 50 students taking geometry. Now, out of those 50 students, how many are female? So how many female students are taking geometry? This is 32. So the probability is going to be 32 out of 50. Now, we could break down 32 into 16 times 2, and 50 is 25 times 2. So the answer is going to be 16 out of 25, and we can't simplify that any further. So answer choice C is the right answer. Number 103, what fraction of those taken algebra are males? So basically, this is the same as what we've been doing in the last two problems. When calculating the probabilities, they were represented as fractions. But in this example, what fraction of those taken algebra, so the number of algebra students we're going to put in the bottom, are males. So we're going to find a ratio between males and the number of students taken algebra. So the number of male students, there's a total of 54. So of those who are taken algebra, actually, well, I take that back. The number of students taken algebra is 60. Now, out of those who are taken algebra, how many of them are males? That is 36. So this is like another conditional probability question. The probability of those who are males, given that they're taken algebra, is 36 out of 60. So now let's see if we can simplify this. 36 is 12 times 3. 60 is 12 times 5. So this simplifies to 3 over 5, which means B is the right answer. 